So if I can go File, Open Example Data Sets, Sulfur, this one that I'm going to read in called Sulfur.gsh is the one I want. If I open it, you can see I've got Sulfur, Wind Speed, Wind Direction, and Rain. So I'll bring the Calculate menu up. And because I've read some data, you can see I've got some available data in the Available Data window. If I click on the Functions button, it brings up a sub-menu with a whole range of functions that we might have. And they're classified into a range of different types. The one that perhaps is most useful would be Transformations. And by transformation, I mean that if I've got a column with 10 values, the results of the transformation will be another column with 10 values. So it just does the calculation on each of the units, and you get a variant or a matrix or whatever it might be of exactly the same shape. You can see I've got a whole range of different calculations here. The one that I want to look at in this case is to transform sulfur to logarithms base 10. So if I scroll down, you can see logarithm to base 10 is here. If I click on that, you can see it sets up the function and it will customize the menu according to how many arguments the function has. So calculate logarithms, you've got one variant that goes in and out it goes. Other ones may have more than one argument. But if I want to do that with sulfur, select the function, double click on sulfur, and then click on OK. And you can see it's put the function up into the calculation box. And the way GenStat represents functions is that you've got the function name, in this case log 10, then a round bracket, and then the identifier of the variant that we want to transform. So we want to transform sulfur to logarithms. I can choose where I want to store it, and I'm going to choose the name log sulfur. Right, now just be ready because something interesting is going to happen. Okay, and I've got a warning. So why have I got a warning? If you go to the first row of the spreadsheet, you can see that sulfur is zero. You can't take a log of zero. It's minus infinity, so we can't store that. What GenStat does if you have an illegal calculation is it'll give you a warning, as we have just now, and it will then store the result as a missing value. A missing value within GenStat is usually represented as a star. So log sulfur for the first row is missing because the value of sulfur was zero. Uh, I can go to the output screen and just see the details. You can see the message tells me what's gone wrong. Invalid value for argument of function. The first argument of log 10 in unit 1 has the value zero. So that's an example of a transformation, and we have a large number of those, as you saw. The other class that's particularly useful is one where you can take summaries. So if I want to take the total amount of sulfur, I want the sum of the values of sulfur. So I put sulfur into the box there. Click on OK, and I'm going to save the result in total sulfur. I won't be able to display it in the spreadsheet sulfur. I'll need to put it in a new spreadsheet if I want to display it. Otherwise, maybe I'll just display it in the output. The function is called sum, S-U-M, bracket sulfur bracket, and we're going to save the result in total sulfur. If I click on run, as you can see, the total sulfur is 1193.